Hello and welcome to the Shop Hunter training. Today I'm going to give you an overview of the back end of Shop Hunter and show you how to use our tool. If you don't know me, my name is Justin. Most of you know me on Instagram or TikTok as Watch Me Drop Ship. So let's take a look at Shop Hunter. First, when you log in, you're going to end up on your dashboard. And we have a few different features on the left. One is the top stores, top products, my shops, add a shop. We're going to start from the top of the list and explain each area. So top stores is a global database that you will have access to able to see the top 50 or 100 stores, depending on the plan that you purchased. Here you can get different ideas for products or stores that you want to track. You could also click on any one of these stores and add it into your tracking database. An example would be if I click on this store here, I could click start tracking and I can see automatically the top selling products from this store, what the past 24 hour revenue estimate is, along with their recent sales. Pretty cool. Now, let's say um, we want to check out the top products, which is the next area of Shop Hunter. Here, we can organize it by day, sort by revenue, and here I can see the top products in our whole database based off of revenue or sales count. Pretty interesting. It's a great way to get an idea, like I said, on products that you might want to track or create. However, my favorite part of Shop Hunter is being able to track stores that you find either through advertising or your competitors that you know already exist. Here's an example of the area that you will see when you've added stores to track. And this area is considered a private database of stores that you are tracking personally. And in order to add these stores, you have to find them somewhere on the internet. One of my favorite places to find stores is on Google. So if we go to Google, for example, and we want to find stores to track, we could look up um, hair curling iron, for example, okay? And what we will find are different stores in Google Shopping. And I'm going to show you how to add a store to Shop Hunter. So you can find these stores, like I said, anywhere from Google Shopping, you can find them on Facebook ads, TikTok, wherever you find a Shopify store, Shop Hunter will be able to track it. To track a store, we'll click Add Shop. We'll paste the store in here and click Search. If it's a Shopify store, you will be able to click the Start Tracking button, which will then start pulling information from that store. However, <clears throat> if you see a limited data under revenue over time, you must give the store 24 hours in order to start pulling enough data to get a good idea of what the actual top products that are being sold on it are. An example of a store that we've tracked for more than 24 hours, let's take a look and find one. So, Let's say we're tracking Ridge wallets, for example. Here, you'll see that their top selling product is the Carbon Fiber 3K wallet followed by the Gunmetal or the Royal Black wallet. This is what a store looks like after it has been tracked over time and has been able to provide us with a large amount of data, which will show us what the top selling products are. So if we were to create a wallet company or we had a wallet brand, and we wanted to expand our product line, we would be able to see which products or styles are gonna be the most successful for us to consider adding to our product line. And that is the power of this tool, is being able to see what the top 20% of what your competitors or websites that you are doing research on 
produce 80% of the revenue for them. So if you are going to advertise or pick a product to sell, it's always good to validate it and pick a product that you know is already successful for someone else, meaning they have done the testing for you. So continuing on, when you are tracking stores in Shop Hunter, you are gonna want to organize them. That way later you can come back and sort them based off of what you are doing product research for. And that is why we built this beautiful tagging system. So if you click on manage tags, I'm gonna create a new tag for wallets. Now that I have a tag created, I'll be able to go back and add a tag to this store for wallets. So if I add more stores that are within the wallet niche, I will then be able to go to my shops here, select the drop down for the filter tags, select wallets, and I'll only see the stores that I have tagged for wallets. This feature is useful in order to keep track of multiple stores in one niche, especially if you run multiple e-commerce stores or you're doing product research for different niches that you wanna pursue. Because once you have a lot of different types of stores, um, it's gonna be more complicated to have to filter through them. And that's why we created this tagging system that you could filter by. For example, I have a category for dogs. I also have a category for cats, which is kind of mixed with other pet products as well. But this way you can see which stores are doing the most revenue. And then you can go into those stores after you've collected data and take a look at what their top selling products are. It's pretty powerful. So that is how my shops tags work. Everything else you'll see here is basically where you can edit information on your profile. You could update your billing management and everything you need for payment here. And you should also sign up for our affiliate program. So if you refer any friends, you can get 20% lifetime on any of their purchases. If you need help at any time, just select support and submit a ticket to us. We typically respond 24 to 48 hours Monday through Friday. Again, thank you for using Shop Hunter. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us um, as well. Follow some of our other guides. We will be going over product research. Thank you again and have a wonderful day.